VCA section of the boundary is labeled as four quadrant. This means it can be modulated both positive and negative, so the signal can be inverted. This is useful for various signal processing CV manipulation tasks, but the primary reason for it is to make audio rate modulation more interesting. This is often referred to as ring modulation. Here we have a sine wave of the wired oscillator going into the VCA. First we are going to modulate that sig signal with the boundary cycling slew. If you want higher frequencies, make sure that the shape is set to exponential, switches down, You'll probably hear it bleed either from the carrier or modulator in the output. To try that, null that out, there is a range switch on the bias of the VCA section. Instead of using the various saw or ramp type waveforms you can get out of the boundary, maybe you'll want to do your modulation with the sine wave instead, like the one from the angle grinder. You may still want to try and know out the input signals. Instead of modulating the input signal with the sine wave, you could also use it to modulate the boundary for a sort of combined AM-FM effect. Let's talk about the range of the VCA. It has about a five volt unity gain. So if you input five volts, you get in what you get out. And it has some gain on top of that. It also has an output limiter at about 12 to 14 volts pink to pink, where it will start clamping down. Uh, this is mainly included as uh, a way to tame feedback loops or other unruly f signals, but you can use it to push to lightly distort or saturate signals. In this case, we've got a triangle wave going in there, and you can see it starts to uh, look a little bit like a sine wave as we turn it all the way up. If we add some CV on top of that, we can hear a saturation effect. The boundary's slew envelope section has a special input labeled rectify for full wave rectification. Full wave rectification takes any negative waveform and flips it up. Um, this can be used with simple waveforms to create distortion or frequency doubling. 
The main reason I included it though, and what I want to show is for envelope following, because it means if you're following an external signal, you don't lose any negative peaks. The external signal we're going to use here is a drum loop. Coming into our four quadrant VCA is a sine wave from the wired oscillator. If you bring up the bias, you will hear it. If you apply the CV from the drum loop to that sine wave, you can impose the amplitude information on top of it. Where things become more interesting is if you, instead of listening to that, you send that as a modulation signal, in this case, to the angle grinder for frequency, exponential frequency modulation. The SLU input on the boundary could be used for gates, but also can be used for CV. Here we've got a volts per octave sequence going through the boundary and out to the volts per octave input on the angle grinder. Turning up the rise can slow the rise. Turning up the fall can slow the fall. and adding some voltage control can make for some pretty fun sequences. <laughs> 